Alright guys, my second video for today, I was going to go over uh, Faux Tools versus Faux Helper. Uh, I know I mentioned that in earlier videos, and this isn't the one I'm supposed to be doing today, but I figured I could go through it pretty quick. Um, I originally used uh, Faux Tools. Um, I used it religiously mainly uh, with the iPad because, of course, uh, you can install, you cannot install Faux Helper under Safari. So I had to use this. Um, I like it. I mean, it tells you what you need to know. Um, I was never really thrilled with all the ads. Um, and also, I found when people do generous donations on your building, say they drop, I don't know, a thousand, uh, 500 forge on it, and you go to put that in up here, and then say maybe you did uh, 150 so far, uh, I always got a little lost down here. Um, it changes the values, and it often lost me. Um, so, I, I was always a little confused with that. Um, it could just be me, not being able to interpret it, but I mean, I still use this, as you can see, if we put these back to zero. I still use this whenever we're doing arc flips. This is where I usually get my figures from that I post into the channel. Um, of course, if you're dealing with the general, you have to <laughs> omit P1. But I usually always use this fourth one down. It's in the format that everybody likes. They usually always like P1 on the right, um, so that when you're uh, when people are taking positions, they can just backspace and eliminate the ones that they're taking. So if you do use this, always use layout four, and usually people won't complain at you. Um, these days, I switch to using. Helper, which after you install the browser plugin, I use Edge. Uh, I think they also have it for Chrome and Firefox. But it's the little bar you see down here in the lower right. Um, I like it because it has a plethora of information, um, some of which you probably won't use, other things you will. The main thing that I use is the GB calculator, it's the second icon. Um, if you look at a building, uh, actually let me do my uh, SMB because I have some forage on it, and then you click this, what this little thing shows you I think is pretty good. It tells you the total of your investment here, it shows what you have left remaining, and it also shows you um, what you've met as far as making the position secure. You can see I've already donated 338. That makes position 1 and 2 secure. I have to add an additional 28 to make position 3 secure. So then I can post position 3, uh, 29 in the thread. When it's taken, if you invest 9 more, you'll secure position 10, uh, and so on. Uh, 8 to do 5, and then at the end all you have to do is add one more. Um, or, if you're feeling risky, you can go ahead and post the whole thing, post all the positions at once. I like splitting them up because that makes my investors more secure in their investments. And when I get down to position 4 and 5, I can post those in our local th OFP threads um, for lower people that can't afford the higher positions. Um, higher positions I do in the general thread, the lower positions I do in uh, our, our guild thread. Uh, just because they flip quicker, uh, the, or I'm sorry, the positions are filled quicker um, by people that have more forge. Uh, they don't sit around for a long period of time enabling somebody to snipe the positions. Because if it is a um, building that people are interested in, someone in your neighborhood is going to find it and just mess your day up. Uh, another thing I like about this tool is not only does it show your great buildings, but 
that if we was to go look at someone's uh, let's take stars if you're looking at his build and say I wanted to invest on his arc I can pull up this little fly up again and as you can see it changes to his building so it's on the fly and it's instantaneous um, to me that's invaluable um, anyway you can see his top two positions are already filled they did an uh, overage uh, let's see who's that PG did an overage of 45 on position one the general did a posi uh, an overage of 18 on position two the owner still has to add eight or I'm sorry nine to finish securing these positions I was interested in doing P3 uh, at 114 but you can see he still has to add 123 to secure this position so in my opinion I would hold off on doing that because if you put your 114 on there someone else can come and drop 123 bump you down and instead of making your money back you'll actually be making 29 forge that's providing your arc is the same level as mine is so that's a huge loss. I'm not willing to take that risk. Um, so there's that. But yeah, you can pick anybody's buildings. Doesn't matter whom. Uh, actually, she has none, but we'll just use her as an example. Uh, and when you look at it, values automatically change. Um, to me, it's just a great little tool. In addition to that, the other thing I use on here. I do look through a lot of things, but some of them are more aggravating, <laughs> than, in my opinion, than they're worth. And I'll show you that whenever I get to uh, Guild Expedition uh, next season. Uh, the little flyouts can drive you nuts sometimes. It doesn't really happen on Battlegrounds, but it does on Expedition. Anyway, this production overview, which is the fourth icon over, I find is a very valuable tool as well. Um, as you can see it defaults on the forge tab um, and it tells you a lot about your city um, unfortunately yeah 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 I'm sorry um, my city when I was probably about stars age I got about or I'm sorry when I first started uh, OFP I was ranging about 50 forge point a day um, after I was there for a few months, that increased to 100. Um, recently, I was about 150, let's say about 150 a day. And since I've added Animal Crossing and Eagle Mountain, now you can see I jump up to 206 a day, two of which I've already collected, but it shows you what you get and so forth. Uh, it also tells you when your buildings are due uh, for collections. I try and synchronize mine so that they, you can see most of them are 11 hours. Uh, I synchronize those with my uh, Blue Galaxy because that will double the amount you get on the first five buildings, excluding great buildings. Um, and whenever that comes around, I might do a part two to this video uh, so you can see the photo tool helper pop up. When you collect your Blue Galaxy, it shows you the best buildings that you can collect, the first five, that will maximize your forge, your goods, and so on. Uh, in my case, it is generally the Butterfly House would be my first, uh, the Celtic Farmstead is second. Um, the Statue of Honor uh, and I believe now that I have these these have jumped into the mix they bumped some of the other ones out and as you add buildings the faux helper pop up will always pick the ones that you get the maximum benefits from and bump off the ones that you may have used prior uh, it's hard to explain like I said I'll do a part 2 and show you that uh, those are the two, probably the two main um, helpers that I use. But if you sort through here, you can see uh, building 
to fit just any which we may go into on the construction and layout um, incidents. Uh, you just go through here. There's a ton of information. The uh, uh, actually there's a blue galaxy one. Um, let's see if I can force the issue on that. No, it won't do it until it's time to harvest or uh, do collections. Uh, another thing I found and I mentioned in the town hall part one is if you go to your town hall as we discussed previous and look at your great buildings this is one I find really you see this little pop up fly up that's actually part this is the one screen you would normally see this is the faux helper one but what I really like about this is you can see this morning I invested on two of Papa Bears and it sh if you expand these trees it will show you how much is left to doing and it will give you a breakdown as to as forage is being added on to it so you can see how quick it's going to flip um, I'm going to go to oh wow I just noticed it looked like um, Sammy flipped her arc finally so that's gone but here's one um, Unfortunately, this one, this lady was let go to inactivity, but you can see exactly when I put my forge on, how much she's done prior, and so on. I really like that tool because I did talk um, in the town hall part one about stagnant accounts, and that would mainly be these three on the bottom. I originally did these back when I was with uh, It's All Good and they've probably been sitting here a year um, so yeah these are the stagnant counts I told you to be aware of know who these people are I wouldn't invest in their buildings ever again uh, with the exception of Super Tycoon I mean he's focused on his arc but you can see it's been a while and I always message him I'm like dude are you ever gonna <laughs> are you ever gonna do anything with that <laughs> Amaji castle but yeah he's too focused on his arc so that one will probably be sitting there a while too. Uh, anyway, I love this little tool. Oh, there was one other thing there. Let me try and get that to come back out that I forgot to discuss. Um, if you ever wonder, and we talked about how long you've been playing the game uh, when we went through the uh, profile and the faux button. Uh, or the faux fan club. Um, another thing I stumbled across here not too long ago is this little blue arrow. I never knew what it was for. Um, but it will give you a plethora of information uh, on a particular person. Uh, say for instance these ones that have been stagnant being pea soup and Claire. If you want to see like their activity. If you click on that, it's going to take you to a website that actually tracks. Now this thing is loaded with ads, but um, as you can see, she's still playing. Uh, activity's pretty good. Uh, battles in the last 30 days are basically flatlined, um, but her score is increasing. So. I'm assuming that she may be flipping buildings. Uh, I don't know what she's doing exactly to get her score up. But also you can go through and look at guild history, which tells you pretty much when they started, the guilds that they've been through. Let me try that again. Trying to get to other worlds. took a little while but it will show you also the the worlds that she's in and it looks like she's more dominant in Wang but um yeah not so much in leveling up her building so or at least the one I invest in so anyway that's I think that's pretty much it 